Hello, it's April from April's Home, and today I'm here with my October 1st grocery haul. I went to Walmart to do my groceries for the first part of October, and mostly I just stocked up on a bunch of basics, lunch foods, a few things for dinner, things like that. I got a big bag of the classic mixed chips for lunches. For cereal, I picked up our favorite Honeygram O's. And then I actually got a couple of these from Target while I was there as well. This is the Booberry um, cereal that I get every October, as well as the Count Chocula cereal. And then I also found these Pop-Tarts that had a cute little jack-o'-lantern face in their chocolate fudge flavor that I thought would also be fun for October. I picked up a bag of rice cakes and some of these um, Juanita's tortilla chips. We really love these a lot. I also picked up a bag of the Lightly Salted Lays. I tried these a uh, couple of weeks ago and I really love them um, quite a bit compared to the regular ones. I like how lightly salted they are. They're really good. So I decided to buy a bag of those. I also got a bag of popcorn balls for Halloween. We got a four pack of the combination Totino's pizzas for the freezer. My husband loves these Lay's stacks, so he got uh, salt and vinegar and sour cream and onion. I picked up a bottle of Gatorade, and also I decided to try this new flavor of Ocean Spray Cranberry Juice. This is Cran Pineapple, so this sounded like it would be really interesting to try out. We got some milk here, and some of our coffee, and then I got some produce here, some yellow onions as well as some grapes and some sweet potatoes. We've been really enjoying roasting up sweet potatoes. So I got some regular sweet potatoes. And then I also thought I would try these. These were a variety of sweet potatoes called white sweet potatoes. So I thought that that'd be interesting to try a different variety as well. I also picked up a bag of salad, as well as a couple bags of broccoli florets. Got a couple jars of pickles, the Vlasic bread and butter chips. And also the hamburger dill chips. I got a two pack of the Ragu Classic Alfredo sauces. And then some pastas for the pantry, a box of rotini, and medium shells. The kids really like the medium shells uh, with the Alfredo sauce. And then I also got a couple boxes of the spaghetti rigatti. And then I also got some of our favorite Barilla tomato and basil sauce to go with our pasta. I am running low on onion powder, so I decided to try Walmart's organic onion powder. And I also got a pack of stovetop. Now that falls here, we'll definitely be enjoying more stuffing again. And then hot pockets. Uh, my son has really been enjoying these for lunches. And then for a quick fix night, I decided to get a box of beef taquitos. And then also we've got a multi-pack of the fruit cups. This has the diced peaches, pears, and mandarin oranges. I also got a few pounds of sugar. And then my favorite crackers here, the Triscuit Thin Crisps. I love this with cheese. And then I love having this orange juice on hand in the pantry, just in case we run out of fresh orange juice and really want orange juice. It's nice to have this um, shelf-stable orange juice. I also picked up a couple cans of the Fritos Bean Dip. We like to have this on hand, and it actually stays pretty well um, in the pantry. This one here looks like doesn't even expire for over a year. So it's really nice to have this stocked up in the pantry. It makes a really nice snack. Um, we love those with Fritos. Then I also decided to put a couple cans of um, potatoes in the pantry. I haven't had potatoes in the pantry in a really long time. Of course, we normally use fresh, but it's nice to have these on hand just in case we're out of fresh potatoes. I also got a couple of these individual soup on the goes from Campbell's. This is the creamy tomato and the creamy broccoli. And then we also got some of these um, individual servings of the Campbell's Chunky Soup in the flavor creamy chicken and dumplings. And I just buy one of these for each of us, um, just in case we want these for like a nice lunch or something. I picked up a packet of fajita seasoning to have on hand and some Wonder Bread and five dozen eggs. I decided to pick up some of this unfiltered apple juice. It just looked so good and I absolutely love apple juice, especially the unfiltered variety um, all throughout the fall. I picked up one of the Genio turkey hams. I love um, dicing these up and adding it to casseroles or breakfasts and things like that. And then I picked up some of the Hillshire Farms beef smoked sausage for a pasta dinner. And then these stadium brats, I got a couple packs of these. I will be serving these up with um, 
sauteed onions mixed with sauteed thinly sliced apples and serving that together with the sausage. It's really delicious and one of my favorite fall meals. Then I picked up a few snacks for Halloween. They had these cute little Franz donuts, zombie O's, so they're chocolate donuts and it looks like they might be green inside so that just looked really fun to me. And then my favorite raspberry filled um, donuts have sort of a Halloween twist on the packaging as well called the Vampire O's which I thought was also really cute. And I decided to put away these in the pantry just in case I want a chocolatey treat. So I got the Chips Ahoy fudge filled cookies. And then another new variety of the Oreos to try out. This is the limited edition cookie butter flavor. So sort of like a uh, cookie butter made from these kind of cookies that they uh, crunch up into cookie butter. So it's not peanut butter. It's like more like a graham flavored cookie uh, butter in the middle of these Oreos. So it sounded really interesting and I thought that'd be fun to try out. For baking I picked up some butterscotch morsels for oatmeal scotchy and then some chocolate chips for chocolate chip cookies some chai flavored whipped Philadelphia cream cheese I love those on rice cakes with a little thin slice of meat it makes a great lunch and then also some lunch meat here a pack of turkey breast and honey ham a pack of cracker cuts for cheese and crackers this is a cracker barrel variety with pepper jack cheddar jack asiago and sharp cheddar and then also just some random lunch meats and of course, like always, when I go shopping at the beginning of the month, I love to bring the dog home a special treat to try out. So this uh, month we'll be trying out Milk Bone Farmer's Medley Whole Grain Recipe. It says it has real chicken and sweet potatoes and oats. So we will see how Zoe likes these um, little doggy bones. Um, they just looked like a lot of fun. And I thought it was nice that they had um, some nice real ingredients in there. So that is our grocery haul for the first half of October, and now I'll go ahead and share with you our two-week menu plan. Okay, so here is my two-week menu plan. This is my menu plan for the first half of October, October 1st through 15th. On Sunday the 1st, I will not be making dinner. I will be attending my grandniece's first birthday party. I'm super excited about that. She's absolutely adorable, and it is just so fun um, to see this next generation of adorable little children in my family growing up, so I'm really excited about that. That. On Monday the 2nd, we will be having bratwurst, apples, onions, and yams. On Tuesday the 3rd, we'll have roasted chicken thighs, mashed potatoes, gravy, and corn. On Wednesday the 4th, we'll have spaghetti with sauce and some smoked sausage and broccoli. On Thursday the 5th, we'll have a pork roast with stuffing and veggies. On Friday the 6th, we'll have German pancakes with spiced apples. On Saturday the 7th, we'll have Southwest chicken casserole. On Sunday the 8th, we're going to order in pizza and have a movie night. And on Monday the 9th, we'll have potato sausage and kale soup with bread. On Tuesday the 10th, we'll have a leftover night with appetizers. On Wednesday the 11th, we'll have sweet and sour meatballs over rice. On Thursday the 12th, we'll have a creamy ham and peas casserole with veggies. On Friday the 13th, we'll have a ham and Swiss quiche with broccoli. On Saturday the 14th, we'll have a roasted chicken with roasted potatoes and carrots. And on Sunday the 15th, we'll have vegetable beef soup with bread. So that is my meal plan for the first half of October. I hope you enjoyed taking a look at our meal plan as well as our grocery haul for the first half of October. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Hit subscribe for more videos from April's home. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll talk to you later. Goodbye.